Hello everyone, Ruth Mary Johnson here, ready to share with you a tale told a long time ago, possibly once upon a time, by a storyteller named Aesop. We call Aesop's tales fables because they each have their own moral, kind of like a lesson to the story. So if you told the tale twice, the moral would be your piece of advice. And for over thousands of years, Aesop's fables have been told and retold, time and again, year after year. They too and they fro and they change and they grow, so they never become old. And you might have heard some of these stories before. Stories of tortoises and hares, of bees and bears, of a wolf and a shepherd boy who cries his name, wolf, or of a donkey disguising himself in a liony mane. This Aesop fable is a story you may or may not know, but it is a tale so magnificent that it may surprise you when I tell you that it is about a very ordinary creature. A crow. Enjoy the fable and stay tuned afterwards for a very important story announcement. The Crow and the Pitcher. Now you all know those folk who are creative and clever, whose imagination floats up high as light as a feather. Meet Crow. Crow was full of imagination and he had the best ideas. But Crow had one problem. For fear of what people might think of his ideas, he kept them all in his feathery head, for he paid way too much attention to what other crows croaked or said. In fact, as soon as an idea happened in his head, he would tell himself it was silly and bury it away under his wings and fly high up in the sky to try and forget about it. On one of these flights, one hot summer's day, Crow flew much further than he had ever gone before. He was so busy telling himself how silly he was that he hadn't noticed that he no longer recognised the ground below him. Everyone knows that flying high in the sky is thirsty work and on this particular day, the sun was beaming so warmly that even the clouds were having to fan themselves. The trees outstretched their branches and the leaves opened up as if waving to the sun. Crow, who was usually such a sturdy bird, was starting to get very tired and very thirsty. Having flown for what felt like days, he was feeling so parched that his usual croak was even croakier. So he decided to swoop down to the trees below to rest his wings and look for a drink to quench his thirst. He stopped short as to his joy and surprise he saw a jar in the distance. It was a pitcher of water. He could almost taste the liquid goodness as he mustered all the fluster in his feathers and half hopped, half tripped towards the object that would bring him much comfort. And sure enough, he could see the water in the pitcher, there for all to see and there to satisfy his sandpit-like thirst. Like a duck about to dive, he raised his head high 
and then dipped his beak into the pitcher. Oh, but oh no! The water was so near the bottom that with all his stooping and straining he was not able to reach it. His heart sunk as his beak dried up. What he would do to have a drink? Tired and weak, he flopped himself down on a pile of pebbles, the most uncomfortable of pillows. And then he had an idea. If he plopped the pebbles into the pitcher one by one, then maybe, maybe the water would rise up so that he could take a sip. It was a great idea. Told you he was clever. But knowing Crow like we do, we know he was never short of ideas. But he was too scared to ever try them out. Silly idea, Crow said out loud, although there was no one there to hear him. And that, in itself, gave him another idea. If there's no one around, then there's no one to think I'm silly if I give my idea a try. So that is just what he did. One by one, he picked the pebbles up in his beak and dropped them into the water. Plop! 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 Splash! 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 Until, by degrees, the water rose up to the very brim of the pitcher. He gulped down the liquid and let out a satisfied sigh <sighs> before he ruffled his wings into position and took off to fly home. It was during this flight back to familiar sights that Crow had another brilliant idea. That the only silly idea was being afraid of what others might think and that using your imagination is actually the best idea. And that is the moral to the story. But I bet you knew that already, didn't you? Because I've heard that you don't hide your ideas under your wings. You let your imagination fly high up to the sky. And that is why we need your help to create a brand new story for County Durham. Story Team needs you and all of your brilliant ideas and imaginations as we are going to create a brand new story together, building upon each other's ideas week by week. Tune in to the Durham County Council YouTube channel at 2pm on Tuesday the 5th of May to collect your story mission as we use our ideas and imaginations to create something brilliant. To find out more, you can also visit the Story Team A New Tale for Durham Facebook page at www.facebook.com forward slash Story Team Durham forward slash for more information. Thank you so much for tuning in. And see you next week, story team. Hello. It's going to be brilliant. <laughs> <laughs>